I have been involved, been a part of the school community since very early days. Um, in 1995, my um, dad, Joseph Umstead, um, decided that it was time to really be involved with the Sudbury Valley School. And luckily, Mark and Kim and a few others at that point were like, we're doing this here. And so um, to have been a child growing up in an unschooling environment, a homeschooling environment, and then a, a free and democratic school, Sudbury school environment was just kind of the way it was. I didn't know really anything else. Um, so moving on from here, I knew that I wanted to be involved in the world of filmmaking somehow in cinema. And I took my time and took a couple classes at community college in the area, um, headed out west to Arizona for a little bit before I moved on to Los Angeles where I attended a, a one-year program at the Los Angeles Film School and got a certificate in directing. Um, and I've worked in the industry and done other film-related things. Primarily, though, um, I've worked in film journalism and criticism, and I'm currently the East Coast editor at Twitch Film, which is an uh, international website that covers genre cinema and weird international little cinema that you probably aren't going to hear about anywhere else. Cool, dude. Um, my name is Jeffrey Craighead. I uh, well, it went from when attended Fairhaven from '99 to 2001, and uh, I, w I attended public schooling up until ninth grade, um, and then I had issues with the the school, and up to a point where I was suspended and asked never to return. And then I came to Fairhaven and thrived wonderfully, and uh, felt it was time for me to to seek other experiences in 2001. I went to community college for three semesters, I think, and then I w went to attend UMBC. And after graduating UMBC in 2008, after exhausting pretty much every history course they had to offer, um, I went and joined the Peace Corps. And I served in the Peace Corps in the Dominican Republic, in the Caribbean, for three years, up until May of this year. And I've come back and I'm now taking classes at UMBC again in preparation for going to China, where I, I hope to uh, teach a university position there as well. I came to Fairhaven through a series of interesting educational experiences. Uh, growing up uh, some of my younger years in Florida and, and going to school, I believe it's a year earlier than people in Maryland do. So coming from that situation and then moving to Maryland about seven and, and going from a quiet little school in a small town in Florida to Catholic school in PG County for about half a year and then uh, a public school in the, I can't remember exactly where that was, a public school in PG County for, for about a year and then ended up spending about seven years doing a loose homeschooling program, doing uh, all sorts of different local programs, doing different homeschooling groups. And then eventually ending up doing a, uh, having my mother, who is here tonight, uh, telling me, there's this school I want you to check out. And, and being you know, unsure about it and having done seven years of homeschooling and, and not really knowing how I would fit into a social environment, especially a, a school, well, you know, having that feeling and that thought of, well, haven't I been doing the last seven years to get away from a school? And in and, and coming here and doing a, a visiting day and then being so excited to do a visiting week and by the end of my visiting week being sure that this is you know, where I wanted to spend not just the next three years of my academic life but, but a place that I came to feel was a home more than, than almost anywhere else in my life. Um, I didn't end up graduating. Uh, I felt like where I was at the point in which I had spent three years here, I was ready to go out into the world and, and experience more. I wanted to experience more. I, I had spent time here and met so many people and made great connections and made leaps forward in who I was, but I was ready to 
go experience more things and see more things and do more things. And I worked different jobs. I saw different things. I ended up traveling the country some and, and seeing a fair amount of the United States. Uh, and more recently, ending up uh, with a nice, you know, comfortable job that gives me enough free time, enough money to uh, follow the hobbies and interests I have. I, I define my success as surviving and finding the time to do the things I love. Uh, other than that, I also become more recently involved in the alumni committee uh, with the intent of, of hoping to help other people who are coming through this process in this school get as much as they can out of it because I genuinely believe you can get so much from this place and this experience. Primarily what it was was it was the openness. Um, it was the most important thing about the Fairhaven experience for me was was the other people, the other students. Um, I think we were speaking about this a little before earlier, just talking about you know what we remembered uh, about our experiences here at Fairhaven. And the one word that always comes back to me as most valuable uh, to me was that this was a socialization period for me. Um, when I look back upon my experiences in, in, in public school the entire time, I really try to recall like actually interacting with other students at any point, and I don't think that I can. I th when I think about whom I actually spoke to at any point on a given day, I guess I spoke like 15 minutes, maybe during lunch, like to other students, uh, and then the rest of the time it was just sitting quietly, listening, um, absorbing, if I could, what they had. And then when I got home, it was homework until I was too tired and I had to go to bed. Maybe I'd spend like 40 minutes talking to other friends online. So I just didn't really ever speak to anyone, ever. Um, coming to Fairhaven, that's entirely different because the whole essence of the philosophy for me, of course, everybody interprets philosophy their own way. Uh, the essence of it is the fact that there are so many different people from so many different walks of life um, each expressing and investigating and elaborating their own interests and their own passions in their own ways. And then you come to Fairhaven and you talk about it to other people, because that's what you can do here. It comes naturally and it's easy. And so I was able to come to Fairhaven and sort of for the first time in my life speak to peers, uh, socialize in a, in a way that I really never had time or ability to do before. And I feel like that was probably the most important thing that I did during my time was just kind of have real friends for the first time um, and people that I could talk to, uh, especially about issues that mattered. Uh, I got really, really involved in, in school meeting and uh, some people might claim that, or would or probably to the detriment of some other people, they, they wish that I hadn't gotten as involved as I, as I did, but I loved it. And I really, really, really enjoyed the ability that I was able to participate in the structure, the governance, the, the organization of what was going on in my world. And it gave me, it was a validation in some way of my, my right to be, <laughs> in a sense, to exist. Um, and so we spoke a whole lot about how the school was run. This was in the early days too, where there were a lot of questions about how should the school be run. And I think that a lot of those questions have been settled now, but certainly not all. Part of, a key part of the school is that we can always bring those questions back up again and redetermine, redefine what we want our own lives to be here in the school. And so a lot of what we discussed was that, of what is the way in which we should be living. This organism that we've created, this living all around us that includes all of us, that is a part of all of us, we can redefine it how we want. And so we get to talk about that. And I know that was a lot of what I spent with my time. Um, and then also just hearing the victories and the failures and the tragedies and the joys of other students' lives, uh, things that happened in school, out of school, just listening to them, hearing them, sharing them. I learned ways of how people felt and ways people looked at their life, at my life, at other people's lives that I'd never thought of before, never heard of before. Um, and that was really, really key too, moving forward, uh, was just being able to interact with, relate to people in a way that I probably would never have been able to have uh, coming out of a public school any other way.